Uh, I made my first album, Bridge, my first acoustic record was actually on a label called Suburban Home. So it, I did the same thing he's doing over now. here. It was on a different. Label. He's just not as mature as me, so he hasn't figured out yet that it's better to not. No, I'm just kidding. No, but I did. I, I put out the first one, and I considered putting out the new one on a label too. I was going to put it out with Suburban Home because I love the label. Um, but. I have a long explanation. Well, yeah, what he's why. doing now is releasing one song a month, which I think is a good idea. Um, what I'm doing is just my first solo record, so I just wanted to see it in that format, even though I know that <clears throat> is pretty much dead as an art form, the record. So, um, But I just wanted to see, because I wanted the whole record to sound and look kind of old, like an old record from the 60s or something, and I wanted to have have that sound. You know, like I didn't change the strings on the guitar and things like that. I just didn't want it to sound that great, you know, although it sounds pretty good, but I, I just didn't want it to sound like perfect, you know what I mean? And uh, I don't really know where I'm going with this. Well, I know why I did the one song a month thing. I did, I, for years and years, I, I would say to even Lagwagon, I would say, um, you know, it just seems like, People are a lot more comfortable with downloading one song, and downloads is pretty much the deal now. And although I still collect vinyl, and I love that, um, really CDs were never a thing for me. I mean, I grew up in the era of vinyl, so CDs to me were always like whatever. Anyway, so my I, I, I suggested a lag wagon at one point. You know, you have these networks, social networks that you deal with. You're dealing directly with people that love your band. You know, at some point you kind of ask yourself, why exactly do I have a record label? I know that they pay for press. I know that I have a great relationship with the people on my record label, so I have nothing bad to say about that. There's definitely something lost when you don't have a label. It, huge things. But, mm. but I, did, I do like the idea that I feel sort of directly connected to people that like my music in this one song a month thing. And I also like the idea of more frequently giving them a song. Not not an entire record to digest, you know, just here's a song. And I like the idea that I can concentrate on a song at a time as well. So, you know, I'm just it's, it's almost like an experiment, but it's not a new idea. The only thing that was a di little different about the way I'm doing it is that I, I appreciate the art form of the album. So at the end of the year, I'm going to release the record as well. And I allowed people to subscribe and they would get vinyl and CD and like a DVD kind of thing. I wanted to give something like that because I knew there were going to be a lot of people that would be pissed off that I was, I was sort of leaving the sinking ship. That's the way I look at it. I sort of abandoned the sinking ship in a way. But most people I know understand. I, I was looking around at different labels to put the record out on because I, I felt the same way that I think Joey felt when he put out Bridge was that I didn't want to have the whole, you know, the stamp, the fat records, the whole thing. I just didn't want to be tied like that and I wanted it to be different. And then so I looked around and talked to a couple of people, a couple of people I've known for a long time that have record labels. And um, <clears throat> basically it just went around. There's the demo that was going around. And then finally, I played a little show in San Francisco, and Fat Mike came down, and he heard the songs. And after the show, he goes, look, he's all, I love those songs. And he's all, I've always been a huge fan of your music. And I, you just go look whatever you want, do whatever you want, put it out wherever you want. But just know, if none of those things work out with for you, I definitely want to put out your record. And he's all, plus, you're already in the system, blah, 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 blah. And then, and then I was just like, you know, Fat Mike's really cool, and... He really does like like the music, so I, it was easy, you know. It's an easy choice. It's the opposite with me. He came to me at, at a show I was playing, and he just said, "You know, I never really liked your band or your songs." And no. <laughs> Can you imagine? And I'm just like, "Bullshit!" I'm like, "All right, man, that's cool." Yeah, no, I, I I think I put my first record out of Suburban Homes. Like the main thing was. Just what you said. I, yeah, I wanted I it wanna, to be like a separate thing. I didn't want to just be like so obviously the guy from Lagwagon making uh, his first acoustic record, especially because I knew a lot of people that were doing that kind of music for so long, you know? And there were all these people like Tim Berry and Chuck Reagan doing that stuff that I felt like I would be more right. able to associate with those guys in that world that I was interested in 
kind of being a part of, you know, by doing that. That's and it, it worked, yeah. you know, it was cool. And labels like Side One Dummy, they have Joe Sib puts out those records and they have punk bands and it's in a way they started off, you know, like fat records with a roster of punk bands and but they brought in bands like Flogging Molly and Chuck Reagan and I was like, God, that's so cool. They're so well, now they have like Audra May, you know, right. who's basically a blues. Right. It's so scene. crazy. So they just go for everything and and I and I talked to Fat Mike one time and I'm all, dude, you should, you know, diversify like that and just be and No. Well, he doesn't want to, but I think, but by doing my I record, that. hopefully, that because uh, I said, you know, we're doing. I, I'm, I said you're doing my record, so why not branch out and do more stuff? And he's like, well, maybe if it's good and I like it, then yeah. And I was like, cool. I think I it's kind of cool though because he 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 does sort of. I think he did a little bit of diversifying at one point in the in the in the label's history, yeah. and it didn't really work so well for him, you know, with things that he liked outside of that genre and then he just sort of I think he just kind of realized well all I really like is punk right so you kind of have to respect that I think it's cool that he just sticks to what he likes and he just does what he wants but it's also cool that other labels are have diversified like that yeah. you know well, I'm hoping that my new record will help diversify the label and maybe he'll start putting out other things like that you know one thing for sure it'll sell better <laughs> it's a good label is a good you know, the split that, that we did together <laughs> sold great. I know everybody there, and it's just uh, like, he, like he had a good point about being in the system already because it's like everybody that works at Fat is, is family. They're all very yeah. cool people, for sure. All five of them. No, is it five? I think it's like two. <laughs> it's, <laughs> no, I, it's five. It is five. <laughs> I can't name them right now. Though. All right, they're good people. I, he only wanted, on stage he, he when only we gonna, fight at the end of the set. That little Fight Club thing we do right. at the end. That's the only. Thing, yeah. He's only gonna do things his way because he wants to, you know. And I, I'm just doing my. I'm just doing mine because that's the way I want to do it. it. Has nothing to do. Yeah, with and I have no kind of arrogance about it. I don't think it's a better way to do things at all. I mean, it's most likely worse. But the truth <laughs> is, it's just something I wanted to try, and it's something that I feel like, if it works, I can do one song a year, which I miss those days. You know, it's like when you're in a band and it's like three years between every right. record and. You know, there's all this. There's a lot of bureaucracy. You have to deal. The one thing that's super cool about doing acoustic music, doing solo stuff, is you're probably going to ask a question. and We're going to answer it now. But you know, this whole thing about like I get offered a show, I don't have to concur with an entire band and crew before I go. I just grab my backpack and my guitar and go. Yes. Yeah. And it's a lot like that when you're doing a solo record, you know, it's like, isn't that a great feeling? Totally, it's like, yeah. You know, and it's not that there's not something great about being in a band, because this, these tours are like family too, you know, when we're all in the, in the band with different people and we still have a crew, it's still like a band on the road, we're still family. But it's just that thing, the creative part of it and doing shows is really cool. And that's why I thought it might be cool to do the records that, that, that way as well. If it works... Every year I'll make a record. See, if it works, I'll probably do what he's doing on my next record. <laughs> Joey's a scapegoat. But I'm not trying to sell it because I really care about the people that run labels that I've dealt with, and I think they're really good people, and I feel a lot of sympathy and empathy for record labels and what they're going through in the last few years. And I'm not by any means going to wave a flag because, you know, I... It's cool that you're taking a risk. Though. I mean, but know. I definitely don't want to sell it, you know, because right. I, I, I'm not trying to tell people like, hey, you can do this, you know, because that, that's, that's a shitty thing to do to people that have been so good to me for so long. I actually kind of thought of this thing as just a nothing thing, you know. I thought, hey, this is just me being self-indulgent, just making music, just being completely self-indulgent. I'm making music for myself. Why involve anyone else, you know? Well, Just give it directly to people, and if they truly, like it, they like it. It's truly indie is what it is. That's what you're being. It's like truly independent. It's not like, you know... Oh, sorry. 